Welcome to Talek. Our purpose is to build an organization where everyone loves their job and their leaders care for them. My name's Kim Hutchins, and today I have Amalia Miles Gonzalez, and we will chat about the story about how she joined Talek and what she's up to now. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> you made the drive down. I did. <laughs> and how was it? It was totally fine. Yeah. yeah, it's three hours. I drive a lot for work, so this is nothing. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah, so let's talk about what's your job title? Yeah, so I'm an aquatic biologist, so mm -hmm. I work out of the environmental department at Telic. Okay. Okay, and could you describe your job in six words for me? Sure. Um, <laughs> busy. Yeah. Uh, multifaceted. Um, wet. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> That's a given, right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, flexible, uh, wild, mm -hmm. and um, challenging. Okay, yeah. hey, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I like those. All right, and tell us a little bit about your story. How did you start at Telic? Yeah, so I've been at Telic for four years. Mm -hmm. Um, I had previously been working at the University of Guelph. Um, okay. I was working in the academic sector, so I was looking at um, chemical tracers in seafood and whether or not we could okay. uh, establish where seafood was coming from throughout the world by using wow. their fish tissue. Um, so totally not what I am doing now. <laughs> I was working in but fisheries. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then I wanted something new. Yeah. So I had started applying to consulting jobs. Uh, Sudbury was not where I thought I wanted to be. <laughs> no, right? Because um, I was in southern Ontario. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I applied for um, the aquatic biologist role there and I got an interview. Um, I interviewed with my current supervisor and a member of HR, and mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I asked more questions in my interview than they asked me. <laughs> um, but we hit it off, you know, I really liked Telic after doing my, um, research on it and after talking yeah. with them. And uh, I was lucky enough to be offered the position. Wow. Um, so I packed my bags and I uprooted to Sudbury and I've been here ever since. Oh my and goodness. we just put down roots in Sudbury and, and still working here and still loving it. So. Okay, that's great. So let's talk about your job now. What yeah. is it that you do and what do you love about it? Yeah, so um, I'm a biologist, like I said. Um, so I work uh, specifically with fish and fish habitat, mm -hmm. um, water, water quality. Yeah. Um, really what I do is I work with clients um, to ensure that their developments are being compliant with environmental legislation. Okay. Yes. So I do, um, I look at a site, I do background review on that site, you know, what yeah. kind of natural heritage features are there. Um, sometimes I do site investigations mm -hmm. where I go out, I document the, the site, the natural heritage features. Um, I do monitoring um, as well as site investigations and then we work with the client depending on what they need. So they need a mitigation plan, okay, mm -hmm. we can write that for them. Um, if they need permitting, then um, then we can help them do their permitting. We kind yeah. of um, just assist clients with whatever they need in terms of uh, environment, uh, environmental legislation, um, being able to develop in the environment. Sometimes we work with clients to look at just baseline background information mm -hmm. or helping them navigate environmental laws. So we do wear a lot of hats. Yeah, um, sounds like it. Yes, <laughs> sometimes I'm sitting at my office chair in a nice blouse uh, working on a permit. Yeah. And then other times I'm standing chest high in muck <laughs> looking for fish. So <laughs> yeah. um, it oh, wow. constantly changes. Um, we're always doing things that are new. I'm almost always outside. So from really from now, like April till December, I'm oh outside uh, doing fisheries work, um, working in streams, um, you know, helping other members of the environmental team complete their surveys yeah. um, so that we can gather enough information to help our clients write those reports and help them with their developments and planning in the off season. Oh my goodness, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so and can you share with us something new that you've had to do? I know sure. every day is pretty yes, much new, right? every day is new. What stands out to you? Yeah, um, <laughs> so I, I've always been in fisheries. Okay. I've always worked um, in and around water. That was my passion. That's what I grew up doing. Um, but because Tulloch, we're, we're a close-knit group, especially in our environmental department. Yeah. So there's a lot of overlap. Um, so we kind of fill in where we're needed. Mm -hmm. um, and we split our, our group up into aquatic, which is myself, and yeah. terrestrial. So that's more land-based, birds, plants. Um, so I have worked quite a bit on um, some of the terrestrial work that we do, which yeah. I had never done before. Okay. So I'd work, I work with um, doing turtle surveys. Oh, I'm wow. out hiking in the middle of the night through the forest to try to listen to whippoorwills <laughs> oh um, to establish their territory. Yeah. So um, I typically like getting my feet wet, um, but the new <laughs> thing for me is adapting to these different kinds of surveys that I can you know, fill in, help out, yeah. um, help our terrestrial team wherever I can. 
can and, and use the skills that I have from my aquatic work and apply it sometimes to that terrestrial work, which I never got to do in the past. Oh so. my goodness, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so if somebody was just coming out of school mm -hmm. or they're looking for a job, what would you want them to know about working at Talek? Um, so Telic to me is like a well-oiled machine. You know, mm -hmm. we all have our different parts. We all work together. Yeah. Um, and when you come in, you kind of have to find your place in that machine. Yeah. <laughs> um, which means that, you know, you're expected, um, there's high expectations. You know, you're a part yeah. of this group now. You're a part of a team. You have to work hard to mm -hmm. help make that machine keep moving. Yeah. Um, yeah. But at the same time, you know, if because so many parts are working together and so many of us are kind of intertwined to be able to help it work, mm -hmm. um, you can, you really learn that you can rely on the other people of that machine. You know, if your part breaks down or you need a minute or whatever it is, yeah. then, um, you know, you, you're not alone. There's a lot of pieces that make up our company and there's a lot of people that are there to help you out. Yeah. And I think um, learning to, you know, really um, pull your weight and work hard and then knowing that because you've done that, there are people there to kind of fill in the gaps when you need to take your time. Yeah, which is so good, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's it's, awesome. It's a, you know, it's kind of a weight up your shoulders it sometimes is. knowing yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a big help. Yes. And what do you think is one of the best things about working for Telic? I think the best thing, um, like I said, I've been here for four years. Yeah. And the best thing that I found is that it's an impressive company. You yeah. know, it's, it, really truly is to its core impressive that it can go from a you know a smaller company grow in size so yeah. much it has so many more employees now and it still somehow manages to run as though it's a small scale family business mm -hmm. you know yeah. that is impressive the fact yeah. that they do so many things for their employees behind closed doors you know mm -hmm. it's not flashed around it's not advertised that you know telic does this and telic does that mm -hmm. it's kind of just you as an employee know that you're taken care of. Um, you don't have to worry, you know, um, the fact that we went through this whole pandemic and not a single person had to get laid off. That yeah, is impressive. That's amazing. You know, yeah. we, we are big like a corporate company. We're a large company with a yeah. lot of employees, but we still manage to somehow run as though it's a small scale family business where every single person is taken care of. And yeah and our our leaders know who we are by name by yeah. looking at us right and they take the time to get to know us so the best thing about telic to me is just honestly i'm impressed all the time yeah 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 well let's talk about some of the ways that they do show that they care mm -hmm. right um yeah so i think uh, telic really does they they show they care in multiple different ways mm -hmm. um on an individual basis and on a group basis yeah. so they you know they they really they really uh, cater to everyone. You know, yeah. it's if, if you need something, you don't have to worry. Yeah. You know that they have your back. They know, you know that um, if you need to take time off, you're sick, you know, your kids have got sick, your family's been sick, you've been sick from COVID. Yeah. Okay, here's more sick hours. You don't, you don't need to worry about yeah. doing your job. You know, you uh, have worked a lot of overtime, but you don't want to take vacation this year and your hours are going to roll over. Yeah. And your friends and family can't say, well, let's go on a vacation next March. You can take, you can take your vacation next yeah, March. Which is we're, you know, we're yeah. going to let you roll over. It's no problem. <laughs> um, or, you know, like I'm in the field. I'm in the field a lot. Um, you know, I don't have an immediate supervisor with me. I'm a field crew lead. I have to make decisions. If a, yeah. if a project goes over in time, if my equipment breaks down, I have to buy new ones. Yeah. I don't need to seek approval to do those things. Telic trusts me. Yeah. They trust me to do my job. They trust that what I'm doing is best intentions for their company and for my client. Um, so it just gives me the freedom to be able to run my programs more seamlessly. Mm -hmm. um, and that trust, um, that kind of catering to my needs, but also listening to the to the group masses as well. Yeah. It's um, it really does show you that that Telic cares about you as a person. Yeah, right. Yeah, oh, I love it. That's yeah. awesome. Oh, thanks so much for sharing. Yes. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'm glad that you could be here. That you yes, drove absolutely. down. Yes, absolutely. Anytime. Us. I'm always traveling. So. <laughs> That's great. And to those watching, would you take a moment to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media so that you can stay up to date on all that's happening here at Telic. Looking forward to next time. Thanks for joining us.